It's the day high school basketball players across the state dream of. State championships being handed out at the DCU Center in Worcester. For an update on that, we turn it over to ABC 40's Nick DeFelice. The Sabbath Bulldogs might be new to Division II, but they find themselves in a state final against Falmouth. Sabas was ready to play tonight, already up 22 in the first half. Andre King comes off a screen and nails the three. That's nothing new for him. Sabas is up 25. Falmouth just trying to get things going. DK Johnson gets his pocket picked by King. He would take it the distance of the court and lay it in. He gets fouled. It's a three-point play the hard way. It's a 25-point lead. King was simply feeling it tonight. The senior nails another three. The lead's up to 33. And King was simply playing at another level tonight. He put on a clinic in the second quarter. This one's an NBA. NBA plus three. It's his seventh of the half. He had 30 at the break. Second half, Sabas did not back down. Kamali Bay, Sabas' other star. He gets into the double team. The help defense collapses, but it's still not enough to stop Bay. He finished with 19. Freshman Xavier Garcia added eight himself. King would finish with 37. It all adds up to a Sabas blowout. 83 to 52 the final. The Bulldogs are Division II state champs. It feels real good, you know. Last game of the season, last game of my high school career. You know, end with a state, a state title. You know, a ring, a, a state Division II trophy. You know, this is our first year in Division Two. You know, we we set we set the bar for everybody. We was doubted the whole season, saying that we couldn't compete with the rest of the people, the rest of the other teams. But we proved everybody wrong. He was on fire, and uh, it was a good game for him to be on fire. State championship, his final game. So um, you know, you know, um, a lot of credit goes to him, and uh, you know, he came out here and kind of loved us. Why not go out on top? And I think that was his attitude. Why not go out on top? And he did. You know, he made sure we did everything we possibly could do to win the game. Um, put us on the back there in the first half. The rest of the guys played good D. And uh, the rest of the state champions. On the Division One side, the East Long Meadow girls are representing Western Mass. The Spartans taking on perennial power Andover. The Spartans down 7 nothing quickly, but Krista Ferentino would get the bucket for two. It's just a five-point game. At the other end of the floor, Andover's Natalie Gomez finds Ali Fazio for three. It's an eight-point Golden Warriors lead. Andover was very hot from the floor in the first half. Deanna Bill adds a baseline jumper, and it's already a 17-3 lead. It didn't stop there. Nicole Boudreau would add a three. It's a 15-point lead for Andover. And the Golden Warriors really had everything going for them. The long pass ahead to Gomez. She hits a nice runner in the lane. She would finish with a game-high 25. Andover shot the lights out tonight. Boudreau hits four threes and finished with 18 points. East Long Meadow senior Krista Ferentino played in her final game as a Spartan. She finished with a team-high 19. But Andover won this one easily, 73-37 was the final. East Long Meadow has nothing to hang their heads about. They're now the two-time defending Western Mass champ. I'm going to think about winning two Western Mass titles, taking our team from 3-17 and 17 to now making an appearance at the state championship. And to be playing with the rest of my seniors is an honor, and I wish all the underclassmen good luck this year because I know they'll be right back here next year. The senior class that's leaving is just going to be extremely difficult to replace because of the work and the effort that they've put in to make sure that, you know, everyone else understands how much we want to improve as a basketball program. When we come back after the break, Scott Cohen will break down more action from the big day. We'll be back after this timeout.